Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little benchmark video here between uh, the iPhone 5 running iOS 7 GM edition, Golden Master edition, versus iOS 6.1.4 here on my other iPhone 5 here. And that that should be the one or 6.1.3 that's available for the public at the moment that a lot of people do use. And there's a jailbreak that should be available for that. Uh, as far as what I've heard, so of course that is very very nice. So we'll be running through this little test And you did see there I was 6.1.4 which is nice stuff and then here We do have I was 7 11 a 4 6 5 something So let's uh, open up the Geekbench app Geekbench 3 same iPhone, same Apple A6 processor, but not the same OS version. And this is the latest Geekbench as well. Could be interesting, could be fun to do. I'm just gonna go pick up my phone. So if you wonder what kind of phone that I use as my main, then it's my Galaxy Note, Galaxy Note 2 at the moment. That is what I'm using. Probably gonna replace it with the Galaxy Note 3 here very, very, very soon. I don't think we're gonna see a big difference in this. Of course, we're gonna see a big difference with the new iPhones. Let's see here. Interesting. So single core score, uh, I get identical on both. So that could be good to know. Uh, but in a multi-core score, yeah, a little bit. Eight points more in Geekbench 3, but I mean, you won't notice a difference. For real. <laughs> You're not gonna notice a difference, no. But there are some other advantages, of course, with iOS 7 in general. Um, I mean, this thing, for example, is way better that you can just swipe in here in iOS 7. I think that's way better. So you have missed and all and today what's happening with your calendar and all. Here's just a line. And it's not transparent, a little bit boring. And then of course you do have the control center, which is like a big thing in iOS, uh, which is kind of nice. You have the cool new dynamic wallpapers. You have the new, definitely the new multitasking area, which is so much more badass and cool. It still don't have a, a button to close everything, which is one tap. They should definitely fix that because that would be amazing. But uh, I might do a full review, or if you want me to check out specific apps or do anything, let me know and I'll see what's gonna happen and what I'm maybe will do because I really do read a lot of comments every day. Have a good day.